People always want to know what do I do on my training sessions and what does one of my training sessions look like with my dog. So here I have Dwayne, our young puppy, he's five months old, and what I want to do is just run through with you what I would do from the minute I take Dwayne out of the crate until the time I put him back, what a training session would look like. This should be probably about 10 minutes or so. And before I get started, I just want to tell you that the most successful way to train your dog is to be patient with your dog and take your time. Consistency in training is going to give you all the results that you can possibly want. So here's what we would do with, with Dwayne from the minute we take him out. I love him jumping on me. I love him being crazy. I'm going to keep all my treats, I'm using string cheese, in my mouth. And the first thing I want to do is I just want him to look at me. Dwayne, yeah. Dwayne, Dwayne, yep. Dwayne, hey, yep. Dwayne, yep. This might seem kind of gross, but getting the dog to focus on my face, yep. Good. Everything right now is yes. Yes. Notice that Dwayne is looking in my eyes, yes, and getting a reward. He's not getting this reward, by the way. I've got the cheese in my hand. The reward he's getting is from here. Good. Dwayne, yes. Yes. Once I get that engagement from him, and this is every single time I train the dog, I want that engagement before I start. The next thing I'll do is I'll start luring and shaping some behaviors. Put the cheese back in my mouth. Good. Rest goes back in my pocket, and now we'll just start luring and shaping some movements. Dwayne, good. Right here. Good. There's a good down. Good, yes. Dwayne. Good. Good. A little walking. All I'm trying to do with a puppy or a new dog is teach them to learn. I'm not necessarily focused on them doing anything, but I'm focused on them interacting with me and wanting to learn, wanting to figure out what I'm trying to get them to do. Yes. Right? I can do I can shape some sits here. Good. Yeah, good boy. I can get him on the other side of my body and do a little healing here. Remember, this is all positive reinforcement here. But he will get a correction once we understand what we want and he's not giving it to us, but he's giving us everything we want right now. When a dog does this, I walk forward. I wait for a sit. Yes. I don't make a big deal. I don't care that he's jumping up on me. I want that. I want him engaging with me. I have plenty of cheese on hand. You're going to need it. Good. Targeting my hand. He knows there's a treat there. He's going to walk next to me. We're going to focus on good healing. Good boy. Little nibbles. Good. Nope. You're not sitting. Sitting, yes. Then we'll go back to some downs. Keep this fun. Keep this fun, yes. Keep this super fun for your dog because right now, yes, he's learning how to learn. He's having fun and it should be fun. Notice I have him sit in front of me, down, I should say down in front of me, yes. I have him downing next to me. I have him downing in different positions. Down facing me, down facing with me, bunch of different ways. Also really important, notice that I'm keeping a long line on my dog. The entire time I'm interacting with the dog, he has an 11 foot long line on. Not that I'm yanking him back. You didn't see me one time yanking the dog back, did you? But what I can do is if the dog gets super excited and sees something else and tries to head away from me and head out of the park where we're training, I can step on the leash and stop him. There's nothing aversive about the way we're training him right now because any mistakes he makes, he attributes to himself. Where's that Dwayne Amater? Oh, see, he's offering a behavior. Good. Yes. 
by keeping the treats in your mouth like this, it keeps your dog focused on you and not on your hands. He's focused on me. And eventually you can start practicing with the dog to see if they catch the treat from your mouth. Oh, almost. Let's try it again. Almost. Let's try it again. Dwayne. Almost. Dwayne. Oh, so close. One more time. Oh, almost. Anyway, back to training. The training should be fun. If you train with Dwayne and you train it like a game, then you're going to have success in the training. Come on. Good. Nope. Good. Come on. Yeah. And right now we're not doing anything precise. All the precise videos you want to see are other videos I've done. This is a shaping exercise. This is a conditioning exercise to get him to want to interact with me. Look where his focus is. He's on me. He's pushing me. He wants to work with me. Every time I walk away, he comes in, he offers behaviors because that's what's going to get him something. Good boy. Good down. Yes. And we got one more bit of cheese for you. And what I want you to really think about is forgetting what people say about using treats. I'm a balanced trainer. I believe in giving corrections to dogs when they need them, but I believe in shaping the movements, shaping all the behaviors with something positive like food. You're not going to get these kind of results. You're not going to get these kind of responses out of a dog if you're doing it with compulsion. Good boy. Yes. Shaping the down. Here we go again. Shaping the down. Yes. Down. Yeah, good boy. Dwayne, down. No, down. Good. Working a little bit of the stay, right? There's a down. Good boy. Good boy. He's focused on me. You know why he's focused on me? Yes. Because I'm interesting. I'm fun. I'm full of rewards. And I'm crazy handsome too, huh, Dwayne? And he loves that. Sit. Good. Nice sit. Yeah, good boy. Stand. Good. Good. Nope. Stand. He doesn't know the movements yet, but we're teaching him how to learn. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Down. Go ahead. Come. Sit. Yeah. The more exciting you keep this training session, you can tell that it is exhausting to train this. Yes. Sit. Good. Nope. Sit. Correction into the sit. Good boy. Good. Good. And he's holding it, right? He's focused. The reason he's holding it is because he's focused. And the reason he's focused is because I'm fun and I'm full of rewards. Yes. And he's not paying attention to all the, the flies and everything around. And that's what's going to make it fun. End your sessions when they're fun. End your session when the dog is in this kind of drive, when he wants to do more. Because that's when your dog is going to want to come out again and do more training with you. If you burn him out and crush him and crush his little spirit, crush that crazy little spirit, you're going to have a dog that's going to hate training and you're going to really have a really terrible situation on how to train this dog. He's crazy. He's absolutely crazy and he's ready to do more. So that's where I'm going to end my training session. It's fun. He had a great time. We lured and shaped a bunch of behaviors. We reinforced a bunch of behaviors and we had the most amazing, amazing time. This is how you want to put your dog away because next time you take him out, that's how he's going to come out. That's how you're going to get great results. Keep it positive. Keep it short and have fun with your dog. And this is Training with Dwayne. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Tons more videos like this coming. And every day we're updating with new videos. Good boy, Dwayne. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, he's a dwayne mater He's a dwayne mater I love you. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay.